Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sure. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, 
I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, 
Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> Uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah... <sighs> There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. 
I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. 
Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. 
Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, 
I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored. 
Okay, good evening everybody and welcome to the Retro Hour podcast live stream with me, Dan Wood. Now you may have heard that this month we are doing Adventure Month on the podcast and, and we've been doing this over the last couple of weeks, doing live streams about some of our favourite point and click adventure games. Now I'm just going to quickly check on the chat, make sure that my audio is okay. Um, good evening to Jake, we Bob, who I can see in the uh, YouTube chat as well. Uh, Eric's in there too. Uh, Adam, good evening to you. Uh, Ravi, I can see you in there as well. Now, over the last couple of weeks, Ravi's actually done a couple of streams. Uh, last week it was Simon the Sorcerer. Uh, classic game. We had Mike Woodruff on the podcast uh, telling us kind of the inside story about how that game was made and some other really good stories about Adventure Soft. So we're checking out that episode. And the week before, we did Police Quest as well. Now, one of my all time favourite adventure games was The Secret of Monkey Island. You know, I've got so many memories of playing that game. Um, back in the day, me and my brother would sit down before you got like, you know, even the solutions in magazines and way before the internet. We'd sit there and have to really try and solve a lot of these puzzles in the game. And Honestly, hours would just go. Um, so the reason that we're doing this, uh, yeah, thank you for saying the audio is fine. Good, Oland. Now, the reason that we're doing this at the moment is because the podcast throughout October is with our good friends from Bitmap Books, who have brought us this amazing new book that is essentially a visual celebration of these classic point-and-click adventure games, and it is called The Art of Point-and-Click Adventure Games. So right now, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, it's such amazing quality. Um... It is so many interviews in here as well. Tim Schafer's in here, Ron Gilbert, David Fox, uh, games like King's Quest, Myst, Discworld, Blade Runner. It's such an amazing book that um, we want you guys to check out. And you can actually win a copy of the Art and Click Adventure Games book on our website at theretrohour.com. Or if you want to help out the podcast, you can buy a copy using our link on the website too. So let's get into The Secret of Monkey Island now. <laughs> I think that we're going to play the uh, the talky version of the game, which um, came out a few years ago, the special edition of Monkey Island. Now, the reason that I've gone with the slightly more modern version is not only does it look nicer in HD when we're streaming it on YouTube, but also it saves me doing all the accents in the game as well, so uh, nobody wants to hear that. So we are playing this on an Xbox 360, and hopefully you can hear the game audio as well. And let's get into that introduction. Now, I may need a little bit of a helping hand as we go on with the stream, as it's been quite a few years since I last played this game, um, and my memory's a little bit rusty. We'll play for about an hour or so. Um, I know we're definitely going to at least get the three trials done in the first hour, uh, maybe a lot quicker. Uh, good evening, Ben. Yeah, it is a very nice book. And if you haven't played these special editions, um, they came out a couple of years ago. Uh, they did Monkey Allen 1 and 2, give them these gorgeous, like, you know, upgraded HD graphics. They kind of got that hand-painted kind of look to them as well, really nice. Are you guys getting the game audio okay? Is that all sounding good? I'll keep an eye on the chat as well. Uh, I've got Facebook up in front of me and uh, YouTube on here as well. Good evening, everybody. Okay, let's get into the game. Good evening, Nostalgia Nerd. How are you, Peter? Seems we have to uh, sit through the intro here. Yeah, you could exercise with that book, actually. It's got some weight to it. Or use it as a weapon. I don't endorse either of those things. Now, if you press start on here, yeah, it says resume game. That is one thing that always bugged me about some games, the fact that you can't actually skip these intros, but it's not actually that long. Yeah, Jake, it is very good. Wee Bob, what are you drawing? Yeah, Richard said he bought a copy of the book and he's uh, wrapped it up as a Christmas present to himself. <laughs> you might forget about it by then. It'll be a nice little surprise. Hi. My name's Guybrush Streetwood and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Now, this game had some great humor in it as well. Um, 
Where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Oh, nice, Bob. Thanks. Okay, so now we need to go and um, we want to be a pirate. We need to find the the chief pirates and then pass the three trials to um, get through our initiation. Like I said, the graphics on this upgraded version are really nice. But you can, um, if you press back on the Xbox controller, it will take you back to that classic early 90s style as well. Only thing is you don't get the talking in this mode, so yeah, we'll change it back to the, the HD graphics. And they're Governor, Governor Marley. So let's have a look at the poster. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Now a little spoiler, Guybrush and Elaine do get to know each other rather well later in the game. A little more game volume, no problem. So I'm going to turn that up for you. There you go, the game should be a little bit louder now, hopefully. Alright, let's go into the scum bar. This always looks like a wild place. You can chat to the pirates around the room. Let's have a talk to this guy. He looks friendly. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town. Right, what should we say? Yeah, come on, I want to be a pirate. Are you a pirate? Can I be on your crew? Well, I am a pirate. But alas, I'm not a captain. You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. And good evening, Toss Fate, who apparently is sorting through my son's underwear drawer while watching this. Yeah, I'd rather be playing Monkey Island than doing laundry. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Whatever you say, just watch out for those guard dogs. That was always one thing about adventure games, you kind of could pick the way that you wanted to do it, a bit like those um, choose your own adventure books that you get. I always played it quite cocky when I was a kid, so uh, you'll probably stick with that. Nice talking Let's go to find you. some other people to talk to. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Oh. <laughs> So look at his badge there. Ask me about Loom. Now, of course, that was another LucasArts game that came out around the same time as this. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loon today! Yeah, it's a nice subtle product placement in there. Nice hat. And that's all you can say to the guy, really, that he answers. I yourself. Oi. Nice talking to you. Oh, Peter's doing his video Oi. on the Atari Falcon. I think this game came out on the uh, on the ST, didn't it? I'm looking forward to that video though. And we Bob's going to be buying his daughter a few of the even Ian Livingston books for Christmas. Very nice. A yeah, really interesting guy. We had him on our podcast actually last year. I can't Let's talk to it. the dog. <laughs> Woof. You'd love to have seen the script they give to the voiceover artist for that one, wouldn't you? Right, let's go and talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. Now, these are the guys that really I need to um, impress them to become a pirate, so let's see what they've got to say. What be ye wanting, boy? 
Let's try that. I mean to kill you all. I get lost, boy. You bother us. There's one good thing about this game: it wasn't possible to die, so you can't really say the wrong thing. What be ye wanting, boy? But there is one moment in the game you do think you die, if I remember correctly. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy. You bother us. Yeah, I remember that you ask about Grim Fandango in Monkey Island 2. What be ye wanting, boy? All right, go on. We want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So, so no pirates means no swag, well, and no swag still, okay. means no grog, nice. and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Now, does anybody remember the yeah, ingredients in grog? Special skills. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials the three all together. Trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! <laughs> There you go. What's in the grog stuff anyway? What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which yeah, contains sure drank worse one in or more already. of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> right, so which one should we do first? We'll do mastering the sword. Let's find out about that. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword, Master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword, Master, without any training. <laughs> yeah, so essentially the first bit of the game is broken up into these three trials that you need to do. So you need to defeat the Swordmaster, and then this one. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug them or something. Okay, and then treasure hunting. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> You're a bunch of foul-smelling grog smelling to pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling grog swilling pig. Right then, let's start the first trial. I'll just be running along now. 
Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. So if we walk out of here, we can wander into town and see who's about. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Remember how the graphics used to look on this? There you go. Hi. Your face. Oh, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir. I. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> We are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Wannabe? Young, inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take it care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Scary guy, LeChuck. Yes, Amiga Rob. It would be good to see more of the old adventure games getting proper updates. I'd like a Loom update. I know there was that kind of CD-ROM talky version of it, but um, yeah, getting a proper HD treatment like this would be really good. Or Beneath the Steel Sky, that would be a good one too. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? This guy looks a bit shifty. No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Well, I've got no money. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for it business. It might come in handy later. I think the voice acting is very good. The only thing is, when you get these kind of talky versions, it, it doesn't really match the voices you had in your head for the characters when you were a kid. Let's chat to these guys. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Ah, ah, get away! But remember rightly, you can actually annoy the rats. There you hey, go. <laughs> don't mess with my rat. I said don't pester the rat. I think it runs away after a while. I'm not going to warn you again. Leave the rat alone. Who's that guy? Hey, man! Frank, make him quit it! <laughs> oh, now look what I you did! I was felt really bad doing that when I was a kid. Let's ask about him. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. Uh... <laughs> no, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? Okay, yeah, we'll do that one then. I'll take it if you give me two pieces of eight. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. 
Okay, that's fair. Good deal. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. But some <laughs> idiot chased our trained rat away. <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates! You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? Right, okay. What should we ask? What if I verbally abuse a rat? Let's try that one. How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. And now some jerk scared off the rat. <laughs> now you've depressed us. Go home. Yeah, Waypoint Comics. Monkey Island 3 was pretty good. I didn't like the, what was it, the fourth one? Was that the escape from Monkey Island, I think? It was like the 3D one? That wasn't so good. That was when everything had to be like that kind of 3D style, wasn't it? It didn't really work for adventure games. I apologize for what I said about rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> Love the way he kept bashing that guy on the More head. More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That would make more sense. All right, let's get out of here. Excuse me, I must be going. See you later, Bob. Yeah, hopefully you make it to Play Expo. We'll, uh, we'll be there in a couple of weeks. And I remember who's in here. The creepy voodoo lady. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Now this is that the cup of a carpenter. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What <laughs> possible use could that have? I think it may have a use. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What may I help you with, son? Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is, is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing. Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. So? My mind-reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? What do you think? You've got to say yes. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. Yeah, good I see point, you Rob. captaining a ship. Yeah! It was nearly 30 years I ago. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No, the time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Oh, no, I think we should pick up that rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Um, 
Oh, there we go, pick up chicken. You figure out how you do it on this, uh... Maybe, maybe no one will miss just this one okay. thing. You got that as well? No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Poor chickens. Look, I think that's all we need from here. And let's have a little walk into town itself. The time never changed as well. Ten o'clock. Hmm. Still ten o'clock. Seems like it's always ten o'clock on this island. Seems like it's always ten o'clock on this island. Yeah, there is definitely Pirates of the Caribbean. I've got a feeling it was influenced by this. Because the stories are very similar. Okay, the shopkeeper. Ahoy there! Fancy he was a happy hands. character. What do you want? <laughs> I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Now, he's the only guy on the island. And that will tell you anything. where the Swordmaster lives, although I'm nowhere near ready to fight the Swordmaster yet. I need to learn um, some insults, actually, because in this game, you'd actually fight with swords, really. It's more the uh, the insults that you give the other pirate. The person with the best insults will win the sword fight. So I think what we need to do, actually, we'll get out of here. We'll try getting the Governor's Mansion, get started on that trial. Here you go, someone's down this alleyway. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like oh, good this job, one. Dale. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, and bad things Give happen to people lip. who sneak up on other people from behind. So... You're gonna give me a little attitude, huh? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester <laughs> Shinetop. What a name. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Yeah, I agree, Peter. Very well um, done this updated version. Because they could have messed it up royally, but uh, actually they did a really good job. And so where did we get the pot from? Do I get the pot from the shop, Rob? Or Dale, sorry? A little bit rusty on where I picked that up from. Was that in here? Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says Welcome you back, can go Bob. jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do so you we'll a favor We'll go to the mansion again. first while I figure out where that pot is. There's a church here as well. What drinking game rules could we apply to Monkey Island games? Every time someone says pirate or R <laughs> In the kitchen, ah yes. Yeah, you can't do anything in here just yet. I'll quickly check out this area, then I'll go to the kitchen. Oh yeah, the prisoner. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. 
Okay, now can't the shopkeeper give you a mint? Then you can talk to him. Yeah, Rob, you're right, it did every time you... <laughs> a lot of disc swapping in it, I remember. Especially Monkey Island 2, that was on about, what, 15 Ahoy discs? Ahoy there, fancy pants. Right, let's talk to him. I think we can get a breath mint off him. What do you want? There we go. I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Yeah, I do remember getting a hard disk and then installing Monkey Island 2 onto it. I think my hard disk was 20 megabytes. So, yeah, after that game was installed, I had about like 8 megs left or something. Actually, yeah, we can talk to him now. Talk okay. to Death Breath? We need to give no, thanks. him. How do I get my inventory up on here? Should have figured that out before I did the stream, really. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Really? I can't move it. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. That doesn't seem to okay, work. it's a bit fiddly, this. So we need to... Okay. Tell you what, I'll do it the old school way. Quickly. Give. Yeah, that was a bit more intuitive, actually. Oh! Grago Mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The yellow conish in dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, <coughs> but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, uh -oh. I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. He's in for it now. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Now let's chat back again. Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. Don't take that tone with me, monkey boy, or I'll gladly lock you up in there with Otis. Then you'd have plenty of time for private conversation. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it. Yeah, we'll do, Dale. Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business... I think actually, Tosfate, like the DOS version was a bit better. Um, Man, you see I a think the VGA version had more You see what I have colors. to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. Okay, we'll leave him for now. And while we're here, we'll quickly go to the governor's mansion and have a look at it. Then we'll go back to the kitchen. Okay, and there, those are the evil dogs that guard the mansion that we need to get by. They are deadly piranha poodles. I don't think I can get past them. Yeah, we'll go for now. That was one thing with these old... LucasArts games as well, you'd spend a lot of time waiting for your character to walk across the screen. I 
I think there is a shortcut if you go through these doors here. But by the time you've done that, you can walk around. Okay, back in here. And now we need to get in the kitchen at the back of the room. If we try and walk in, I think we get told off. Yeah, they hey! You can't come back here! So you have to wait until the chef comes out and then sneak in when he goes off screen. Some sort of meat or meat like substance. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Fish then without the bird. I think that bird will take my hand off. It's boiling hot. So I have. Can I use the meat in there? There we go. Hmm, stewed meat. Yeah, there is a map that I'll go to in a moment. I think that's everything I need in here for now. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to the main map now. the moon a bit bigger on this version. Just a bit. And okay, now we've got the main map of Melee Island. So we need to go to... Let's put that down here. Because we haven't been anywhere yet, we're not really sure what everything is. Got a feeling either that or that was the circus, maybe. Yeah, here we are. in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I cannot do it. I hurt my hand him in the lions last week. I hardly see that little scratch voice, compares though. to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Can anybody remember no, their names? You get in the Something cannon. brothers, I can't remember Slacker. Now. Loser. Raffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil! Miscreant! Why are you guys dressed up in those ridiculous outfits? 
to perform an amazing feat. A death-defying feat? Well, not so death-defying, really. A uh, dangerous feat? No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well-known. Fabulous. Flying. Perrottini yeah, brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound, like Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it. Sounds safe. Across the room. Uh, quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Okay, we need some money. How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? I'd probably do it for that. Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry! Okay, now the pot that we got from the kitchen. Yeah, that one there. So if I give. The pot. That doesn't seem to work. This control mechanism's a bit fiddly, okay. Give. Pots. There we go. Ah! That will work as a helmet! Now we can do the trick! Step right over here, Sam! Now, put on your helmet! And get in the cannon! And we'll take care of the rest! Echo! Echo! Great it cartoon works. sound effects in it. Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Oh, there we go. Upside down text. Uh, that one. <laughs> I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Okay, cool. So we've got some money now. What does anyone think now then? Any, any ideas what we should do next? I'm thinking learn a few insults from the pirates if we can. see any. You often see them walking around the map. Maybe I haven't quite opened that bit yet. Let's try down here. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. Well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Yeah, now we're not quite up on the insults of the island yet, so. Yeah, they're like good. Stick it in your ear, you great green garrulous grub. Um. Uh, yeah, it's a two monitors uh, rub. <laughs> Cuddle breath. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good shout, Dale. I'll give him the fish. None shall pass. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. <laughs> okay, so back to the shop. Yeah, we'll do that. Get the sword and the shovel.
Yeah, toss fight, I do remember that bit. Right, I won't mention that I've got three, Rob. <laughs> More screens than PC world. Okay, back in the shop. Okay, Ahoy so there. there we go. Sword, get that one. Pick that up. And the shovel. There we go there. I do remember later on opening Let's go, the safe bands. is a bit of a pain. You've got to remember what do you the combination. Think this is, a museum? Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Okay, we'll have that as well. I wonder why he hides all that stuff. Got big pockets. Did you just come in here to get out of the cold, or do you actually need something? What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? Now, I'm thinking we should probably follow him to the Swordmaster, even I'm though... I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm... I guess I could hike think? all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Now you've got to chase him across town before you lose sight of him, which I probably have. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. I probably lost him there. There he goes. Unless you guys have got any other suggestions, I'll follow uh, the shopkeeper for now. I'm looking to chat on YouTube here. I don't think you can walk in front of them and be seen, but I'll keep my distance in case. There's a shopkeeper there. He's gone in the fork. Now all you have to do is follow where he goes and not lose him. Luckily, you've only got to do it once, I think. After that, Guybrush remembers his, his way there. Yeah, I remember that bit, Dale. <laughs> he would have so seen me there, wouldn't he? Okay, and there we have the Swordmaster's house. Evening, Namcos. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. What a Yeah, smoothie. right. Now scram. Okay, now, yeah, we'll go back and get the, um, the yellow leaves in a moment. 
I'll try talking to her. Since I've come all this way. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. That was nice of her, to be fair. She didn't just cut me down. Okay, yeah. We'll go back to the forest and we'll get the the leaves and then I think we can get past the uh, pir piranha poodles if I remember rightly okay there's a sword master going there the shopkeeper uh, back to the fork so these are the flowers I Presume the guy oh my, got arrested for picking. Usually bright yellow they are. So yeah, I'm gonna pick them as well. There we go. I've got some of the flowers now. There's a pirate. Yeah, the pirates are walking around the map now. So if you bump into one, you'll then fight them, and you can pick up insults off them. I see one, we'll do that now, but we'll do while we're here. You've got to be facing the right way, though. There we go. So if I walk up here, bump into this guy here. Be important. Nice night we're having, isn't it? Oh, I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. Come on, guy brush, <laughs> play along. Oh, so I didn't even fight him. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so we'll go back. I do remember, I think you use the flowers on the meat, and then it becomes poison meat, and then you uh, you send the dogs to sleep. Yeah, you don't actually kill the dogs. So we can probably do that now if I use... I can't move it. Okay, we'll try it on this mode here. Use. Petal with meat. There you go. It's contaminated meat now. Yeah, I love the graphics and the voice acting, but um, not all the controls translate well to a controller. Probably would be easier if I played it on uh, Steam or something. Yeah, Rob, I remember the machine. Yeah, we'll do some training after I uh, get past the poodles. Okay, so now if we give... ...the meat... ...to the deadly piranha poodles. Oops. 
important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. That always made me feel a lot better. Okay, now we'll go inside the governor's mansion. Indeed, Dale. All right, let's get in here. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Hey, Demetrius, thank you. Nice to have you here. Now, can anybody remember what we do in here? I remember there's some kind of epic fight scene that goes on. I don't recognize the man, but he has a I'm great hat. We found this the sheriff. Looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. I love the sound effects in this bit. If you look at the bottom, you can see the commands are. I'm not doing anything. It's just for me. No. Not the red button! It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I'd love to see that room. I can't move it. I can't move it. So the game plays itself on this scene. Yeah, good shout, Ian, maybe. Monkey Island 2 was very good. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Let's see how it looked in the old graphics. We've got gophers in there now. Gopher repellent. Yeah, this thing goes on for a while. We've got a giant yak. Gophers in that room as well. All sorts of stuff. Again, that was what, what was great about these adventure games. It really will get your imagination fired up. It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh-oh! Okay, I think the fight's nearly over now. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol! Okay, so we've... I guess we've tied the sheriff up, and now we need to get a file and then come back and... Get the idol, and then that's one of the trials completed then. And I think I remember where we get the the file from. So if we go back to the jail, I think we can get the file from there. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Sloth, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cookie at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, 
he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. Yeah, toss plate. I think it's inside the carrot cake, so we need to get so the cake. So who want to frame somehow. you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's golf Never. piracy. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. Okay, rat repellent. I can't stand carrot cake. So where do we get rat repellent from? I'd imagine the shop would be a good shout. If we've got any money left. We should have about, what, two or three hundred pieces of eight left? And he's gone. Okay, let's ring the bell. You're chatting up the Swordmaster again. It never fails. <laughs> I step away from the counter for two seconds gets back and pretty some quick. idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? There we go. I'd like some rat repellent, please. Ha! I bet you would. But I haven't got any. What else do you want? Hmm, any idea where we get rat repellent from, then? Do you have files? Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Nail files. Ah! Sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Hey! This ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Let's have a look on Facebook chat as well. Anyone got any idea where we get a, a file from? Well, the file, I know where to get the file from, the, uh, the rat repellent. So while we're talking about this as well, we are doing this because Adventure Month on the Retro Art Podcast the is brought to you by this amazing new book, The Art of Point and Click Adventure Games. Let's go, There's fancy actually a really good interview in here with Ron Gilbert. Um, so if you want to find out more about the making of Monkey Island, some of the graphics are gorgeous as well. Um, you can help out the podcast by buying a copy of the book, or you can even win one as well. We've got a copy every week to give away throughout October. Head to our website, theretrohour.com. Could you hurry up? Right then, so we do need I was hoping to, to get hold of some early today. rat repellent. And I can't remember where you go for rat repellent. Well, I got rid of that rat just by dancing around it. In the meantime, I'll try and get some training to uh, learn some insults for the, the sword fight I'm going to have in a bit. Nobody remembers where to get rat repellent from then, eh? Must be somewhere. Go for repellent? Eh, it could be. Did I pick that up already? Let's have a look at my inventory. Yeah, so we have go for repellent, that could work. Alright, we'll go back there in a bit and try that. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless nice maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? <laughs> yeah, ask him on Tuspite. <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. 
The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not! I do so! You do not! I do so! Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job I I like this that. one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with Yeah, right, Dale, actually. It's only the because I, I feel that special... The voice I that this guy would have student mentor the pieces of eight like, bonding so that, that I'm going that to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... The machine. Go. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance, distance! No! Beat first, then lunge! Distance, I am distance. rubbing you are glue. Yeah, all the old insults are coming back to me now. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repost. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... Oh, see, we haven't learned it yet. I think it should be how appropriate you fight like a cow. You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? I can't remember the reply to that one. <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to... Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Would have been something like... First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. Now, back in the day... I can't help but feel I like I would I've have a notepad I'd actually write down... I'm sure you're feeling something sides, similar. ...the insults and the correct responses. Um, I'm sure we can remember them now, though. Yeah, Ian, I don't mind the... Uh, I think the imitated graphics are pretty nice. 
But yeah, I do admit the originals did have a nice charm about them. Okay, so lots of pirates walking around now. So I'm sure I can bump into a few and learn a few insults. be important. My name is yeah, Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, what do we know? You fight like a dairy farmer. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I think it's like three times you've got to get it right to win them. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I am rubber. Okay, I'm gonna beat this guy, I think, if I get one more. Although I don't know any more insults, so maybe not. You call yourself a pirate? I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Yeah, see, I haven't got a response for that one yet, so. First, I you'd lose better this stop waving it like a feather duster. But I've learnt the insult. You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win! So even though that guy beat me, I did learn some new insults there that I can try out another pirates and get the correct response. Aye. This better be yeah, Dale, good shout. I'll get the uh, the treasure in a minute. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Hi, Viking. Yeah, much more fun than uh, the Bake Off playing Monkey Island. So I know the response to those two. I don't know that one yet. So we'll try and get them off him. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh yeah. Have you got my coffee? Thank you. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention there. I think I missed that. Let's try that. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Okay, so I didn't get anything off that guy, I don't think. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. This is the end for you. You got a crawling cur. Cur. Yes, I haven't got a reply for that one yet. I am rubber. You are glue. <laughs> uncle. Uncle. Okay, we'll try and get the, the treasure, actually, while we're here. I think we do it in the fork. So, Dale, do you remember where we go to get the treasure? Is it like, do we, do we walk around randomly in here? I do remember that it's in here. Or do I need a map? Let me have a quick look. I do have a map, don't I? Okay. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. Well, maybe I haven't got the map yet. Yeah, I think I need to go back to that guy on the street corner, don't I, and get the, the map off him? Yes, I don't think I can do the treasure just yet. Let's try and beat one pirate, come on. Three around here. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. He got that. Correct. You have the manners of a beggar. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. 
This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Yes, I used his response that he gave me before. Okay. I don't know the reply to that one. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath. Yikes, nice move. Yeah, Rob, I thought it was the, the dance steps on the map as well. You probably can find it by walking around, but I think you can get directly there with the, the dance steps. Straight by. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Right, what do we need? That one? You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate you fight like a cow? How appropriate you fight like a cow. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, oh, he better right. stop waving it like a feather duster. You have the manners of a beggar. Yeah, I don't know if I've got that one yet. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I give up. You win. So we're getting there with the insults, we just need to learn quite a few more, I think. But we'll try and go back to that guy and get the map of him then. Then we can get the treasure, hopefully. And we'll try giving the uh, gopher repellent to Otis, the prisoner as well, and get the nail file. And then we're well on our way, actually, to doing two of the trials at least. Okay, so the guy in the corner with the parrot, I think he can give me the the dance steps. Excuse me, but do... Oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. You know, I think if I go to my inventory... Yeah, we'll look at that. And not push. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Yeah, so we have to do those moves in the forest to find the treasure. I'm not sure whether it's four times or probably just back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. So we'll go back there in a bit and we'll give that a go. Try giving him that go for repellent. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Okay, now if we look at the cake. It's heavy. Open the cake. Oh, 
there we go, a nail file. So now we can go back and get the idol. So we're getting there. I'm having a look at Facebook chat now as well. Good evening, Gavin, uh, Andrew as well. Yeah, it's definitely worth a play, the uh, special edition of Monkey Island. Okay, we'll go back in here now. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. locked. To get in? Oh no, we can go through that hole hmm. there, I think. This door appears to be locked. I've got the file! Okay, we'll get the idol of many hands. That was a close one. Well, I got the At idol, least I okay. got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, yeah, I'm not going to escape, am I? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. What shall I do? Yeah. She said I could have it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off There's with your idol, Governor. He says you gave it to him. That's right, I did. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. You burned, Fester. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, I gave you the idol, eh? Uh... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Yeah, Guybrush can't talk around ladies, it seems. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? Now, Elaine looks really different to the original. I suppose you've got... Look. Hi, Mr. Threepwood. Bull. Is that the mug? There you go. And Wrinkly? It's pretty nice. Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. <clears throat> okay. So I think she let me keep the idol. Let's have a look. Oh no. Took it. Oh no, is that it? Yeah, okay, so I've got the idol still, so if I can show that to the pirates. I don't see anything special about it. Oh, he's back. Where do you think you're going, Throofwood? Yeah. Buzz off, Fester. 
I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. I think this is a bit we we're talking about earlier on, isn't it? This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or <laughs> Droop Face or whatever your name is. Ah! Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Oh, that fest is a bad one. Now here I am, underwater. And if you look, all these things around me that I could escape with, I'm chained to the idol. So I've got like a, a hacksaw. Looks sharp. I can't reach that from here. Up. I can't reach that from here. I can't reach that from here. Rusty, but sharp. Rusty, but sharp. I need but some sharp. to cut the rope. Meet Cleaver too far away. Sharp yeah, the solution is, I do remember how to do this bit. All you do is pick up the idol. <laughs> the hours I spent on that puzzle as a kid. What do you do? I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Okay, we have the sword again. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? See, I didn't no, know you could actually I die there. How do you die then? Your life. You're like... Wait, well, so he runs out of breath or something? When he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known, or even cared, if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. We got the romantic music kicks oh, in. <laughs> Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. <laughs> Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed okay. of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But <laughs> I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Guybrush on a promise. Me. I didn't know that. So apparently on the underwater bit, if you stay there for more than 10 minutes, because one of Guybrush's skills is he can hold his breath for 10 minutes, uh, you'll theoretically die, but not actually die. So I don't think I've ever waited 10 minutes down there. Okay, so I think we've completed one of the trials, and if I give that to the pirates. Ah, oh, the idol with many hands. Here a brave lad. And thank you for stealing it for us. Okay. I'll just be running along now. One out of three. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us so how you're doing. Now we're going to the treasure, following those steps on the map. Yeah, it's a pretty saucy game, isn't it? Yeah.
I might do another little fight with a pirate if we meet one here. So, let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, so back, left, right. Left. And right. Left, right, back. I'm sure you can do it by just walking around, but it probably would have took a while. Back through there. And the final bit. Right, left, back. Treasure should be in here. Okay. I guess we dig here, do we? Either that or I went the wrong way. <laughs> it does look like I remembered it, but I thought there was a big X there or something. I think you're right, Rob. Does this look right, or did I do that bit wrong? Hoping your Monkey Island comes out. Yeah, they did do the trials, didn't they, a couple of years ago? This does look like the place I remember, though. Was it over here? Ah, there we go. Okay. No, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. There has been a petition going at the moment because I think Disney now own the rights to hey, I think a lot I of the LucasArts games, and Ron Gilbert has been trying to get back the trademark oh for Monkey Island so he can it's make a, a new one, maybe. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. I'm playing on an Xbox 360. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I love the way it's always night time. Okay, so now if we look at my inventory. Let's do that. So we've got a t-shirt. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got so was yeah, the this t-shirt. The t-shirt is the treasure. So we need to go back and show that to the pirates. Remember how to get out of here. I think we can just walk back to the map without doing all the steps again, I hope. And find the path. What's that? The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Okay, now I can't find the path to get out of here. Oh, there we go. A bit hidden, that. Okay, now we'll go and show that. That's this pirate walks down here. Okay, we're gonna have a pirate insult fight here. Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, what do I need to know the reply to? Try that on. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh yeah? Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Yeah, there are new point-and-click adventure games coming out. 
I've spoken with apes more polite than if you. If you check out the um, yeah the podcast this week, there's a guy called Paul Conway on there. Um, he's really good, actually, talking about his new game, uh, Dark Side Detective. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. You make me want to puke. Yeah, I don't know that one. Oh, yeah? Are you win one you soon, win. I'm sure. Let's have one more. Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I've heard you were a contemptible oh, we snake. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. So there's a lot you need to learn. Even um, before they smell your you, breath? You only need about maybe six, I think, to win the sword master, so... I mean, you can collect loads nice of them, move. but eventually they will tell you that you're good enough to fight the sword master. So we'll ignore the pirates for now. Yeah, adventure games have definitely had a bit of a comeback in the last couple of years. Okay, we'll give them the t-shirt. Well, I discovered the lost treasury. You're a clever boy. You may keep the chic t-shirt. We have plenty. Okay, one more left to do. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. I did have a few people asking about Stan the uh, boat salesman, what his voice sounds like in this. So I think we'll go and find him and uh, he's a funny character. Am I going for a complete playthrough? Well, we'll try and do the three trials maybe tonight and then I might come back on next weekend and do the next part of it. We've been going nearly two hours already. Hey Ian, I haven't seen First Man yet. No, I've heard it's good there. Okay, I think Stan is in there. I think the lights. Good evening, Sabretooth Barnacle. Drinking rum. Yeah, very appropriate. I'm on coffee, unfortunately. So there is a grog machine here. Do we have a go? Huh. Ripped Nothing. off. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Who's not here? Now that's a nice looking vessel. Dull, I do need to dull, buy one of them later. Probably that one. Yeah, Rob, the new place is going okay. I've been here about a week now, so uh, uh, in my first rubber. video from my new place. Still lots to do, but, you know, slowly getting there. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. Okay, we can't afford any boats as yet. Maybe Stan will be there later.
Now, okay, I, I remember why we needed the, uh, <laughs> the rubber chicken now. Do you remember how you get over here? Uh, okay. I need to beat the Swordmaster before we meet Stem. So we've got rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle that we'll use on the cable. No idea how we figured that out back then. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? We have a loom reference there. I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. I'm a pirate cannonball head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook. And I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a little hair problem. Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Meat Hook's very sensitive. Obviously, neither did your barber. Why, you... Okay, we'll try again. Be a bit nicer. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? Uh, excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry. Well, that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then, I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? Now you can help him out and get rid of the uh, the thing that attacked him a bit later, but it doesn't look like I can do it yet. <laughs> what was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook, and you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. Ha ha ha! Not nice anymore. Now. I meant to call you Chrome Dome. <laughs> Why are you? Now, if you do stay here and, and you're nice to him, can you actually get the monster? Then I can't. Try one more it. time. I'll be really nice. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to okay, call Dale, me we that. Need to, um, my name's some more insults, Meat I Hook, first. and you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. Ha 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 ha! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to call you Chrome Dome. Why are you? Okay, we'll try and uh, get the last of the trials done then. works both ways. That's some chicken.
Yeah, the three trials of Swordmaster is definitely the most difficult one. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so what do I need to know the reply to? I don't know that one. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. There's a lot of them. I don't know that one. You make me think somebody already did. <coughs> This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Think it might be that one. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. Yeah, it was. What else do I need? That one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Okay, we must have enough now to beat one of the pirates. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking, I'm shaking! There can't be many more that I don't know now. What else do we need? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking, I'm shaking! There we go. I give up! You win! Yeah, the pirates do tell you when you're good enough to beat the Swordmaster. I think you've got to win a couple in a Move row. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. We know that one, we know, I think we know all of these, don't we? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You better stop waving it around, that one. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah. One, one more. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel oh, comfortable with me. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Was that the family reunion? That one, yeah. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I give up. You win. Yeah, I think one more. We might do it. Hey, this better be important. I think you need like a flawless win, and then you get told that you're going to fight the My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? There are no words for how disgusting you That's are. So you got that job as a janitor after all. I once owned a, lot of a dog that was smarter than you. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. I give up. You win. Okay, we've got some new ones that what we need to learn. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
I hope you guys are remembering these. So, I'll try the, the dog one. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's not giving me that reply. Uh, I got another new one there, didn't I? That one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never lined them. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? Even before they smell your breath? We've got to be close. What else do I need to learn? That one? My Some handkerchief will replies. wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? There we go. Wow! You're good enough to fight the sword, master. And fingers crossed that you won't ask me. I might have one more pirate fight just to try and get those two replies that I don't know. Aye, oh, this better be important. Okay. My name is Guybrush Three. No, my luck should ask me the ones that I don't die. have to reply to. So if I can learn them quickly. So the dog one? Do I know that one? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Yeah. He must have taught you everything you know. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting uh, down. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? So a lot of new ones, at me. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Uncle! Uncle! Okay, I think we should get the Swordmaster then to try. See if we can beat the Swordmaster. If not, I can learn a few more. I might get lucky with the, uh, the insults. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. Okay. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. No one will see, ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? There are no clever moves that can help you now. Actually, I think, if I remember correctly, doesn't she just give you insults that you have to respond to? So I think... Yeah, that one. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Yeah, she doesn't throw the same insults at you. My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Okay, what would work for that? My name is feared in every corner of the island. Yeah, I'm not sure any of these will work. Maybe that one? Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Oh yeah, that was it. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. You stop waving it around. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Oh, I thought that would work. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Okay. Maybe the janitor one? Oh, that one? Tough one. What do you think? Let's try the janitor job. So you got that job as a janitor after all? I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Milk cow? How appropriate! You fight like a cow! 
I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Yeah, I didn't forget to reply to that one. Maybe that one? And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? No. You are a pain in the backside, sir. Yeah, there is a little reply about hemorrhoids, but I didn't pick that one up. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Oh, she's beat me. Yikes, nice move. I okay, hope we got this close, teaches I think, you a lesson. Now scram. All right, let's get a couple more insults picked up, and then I think we can do it. You have to get her right to the, the right side of the screen, and she was nearly there. I think maybe one more I would have done it. my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Let's try that one. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. I'm shaking, yeah, I'm know shaking! There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah? Wow! You're good enough to fight the Apparently Sword not. Master! Come on, we need like two more replies, I think, and we can do it. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? one? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Try the that one. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, you rubber! I'm sure, there's you one about crew. like why your hemorrhoids flaring up again, and that would have worked to the reply she gave me before. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. That's not fair. You're using the sword master's insults, I see. Wow. You're good enough to fight the sword, master. What do you think? Try the sword master again? Picked up one new one there. All right, Dale, we'll go and show the scurvy hag who's boss. I'm back, and boy, are you in trouble this time. Let's get this over with. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Marry a pig. The cow one? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. That was the wrong one. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. I think we'll try that one. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Yeah, that was right. So I've got to get her right to the right side of the screen. You are a pain you know, the in the backside, that would have worked. Yeah, so I've got no reply to that, I don't think. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. 
I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. I think the janitor one did work there before, didn't it? So you got that job as a janitor after all? No, wrong reply. My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. A boat ready for why did you want to borrow one? Why did you want to borrow one? Come on, two more. I think we've got a. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Before they smell your breath. Come on, I had that one. Even before they smell your breath. Have we done it? Yes. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. So we've done it. That was more difficult than I remembered, actually. Good evening, Aaron. Yeah, I used to do the same, actually. Um, I used to write down all the insults. <laughs> Okay, we're going to show the pirates, and I think we've done the three trials. That doesn't look good. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Yeah, that guy's meant to be the lookout. <laughs> so where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm <laughs> a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Let's read the note. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Well, that's no good. I wonder if we can go and show them I completed the three trials. Or have they all gone? Yeah, see, everyone's left. <laughs> What's wrong, old sot? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> All right, so, um... What can I do to save her? I think we've done the three trials now. We need to go get, get a ship and, and go then after her. save Elaine. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. Well, that was the three trials. Um, and I think the streams have been about two hours long. 
Um, I'm probably going to leave it there for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, don't forget, if you loved Monkey Island, if you love all these point-and-click adventure games, this new book, The Art of Point-and-Click Adventure Games, from Bitmap Books, who are kindly supporting our podcast throughout the month of October as we do Adventure Month. Uh, 460 pages, lithographic printed, nice hardback cover. Um, games like Monkey Island and here, Simon the Sorcerer, Maniac Mansion, Full Throttle, Discworld, King's Quest, Miss, loads of great interviews as well. And you can buy a copy on our website, theretrohour.com, or enter our weekly draw to win your own copy of the book as well. So I might pick this back up and maybe do part two of it very soon, because it has been a load of fun. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And don't forget, the next episode of the podcast will be out on Friday, and we'll have more about point-and-click adventure games. Enjoy what's left of your weekend, everyone.